Let's see. This blue one looks cute. Or maybe the green one? Black seems so basic. Ugh, choosing one is so hard. Mm, I think I'm all ready to go tonight. I hope my little snack likes it when I show it to them. I'm a little bit nervous. Now I just have to wait for my roomie to get back. I'm looking forward to our next play session. I hope they are too. It's odd how this has become a kind of stress relief. Time to try something new though. I hope they'll go for it. If I had nerves, they'd be shot right now. The waiting makes it worse. I'm sure it'll be fine. It'll be fine. This is fine. I'm fine. Whew. Hurry up and get home already, Rumi. Guess I'll make sure I'm ready in the meantime. Rumi! About time! I started to think you weren't coming home tonight. I might have planned something. Yeah. <laughs> Go get yourself out of your work clothes first and all that other stuff. Also, there's still leftover pizza. Of course I didn't eat it all. We agreed when we order extra for leftovers, we try to make sure we both get at least two, maybe three meals out of it. I'm sticking to that. Now hurry up and get out of work mode. I have things I want to do with you today. I'm not plotting anything. I made plans already. Plotting means I'm still in the process of making plans. What I'm wanting you to do is to get into comfier clothes and eat something. I don't know how long it'll take, so I want you to have something in your stomach. And I have something I want to give you. Several somethings, actually. Now, go get cozy. Or at least out of your work attire. But in all honesty, I'd hope they'd be birthday presents. But I couldn't wait that long. I'll stop pestering you now. Go do whatever human-y stuff you need to do. I'll be in my room if you need me. Come on in, roomie. All settled? Good. First off, I want a hug. Hey, so what if I'm a little clingy? I'm a slime of physical affection. I see friends hugging, shaking hands, and more. Things I can't really do with people, given the whole perception of my insights being acidic to digest things. As you know from personal experience, that's not entirely true. You've been completely inside me a few times at this point. Still haven't tried sleeping inside yet, though. It wouldn't matter if I fell asleep with you inside. When I'm asleep, my slime just spreads out kind of like water. Thus, why I sleep in the tub. I would be quite literally all over the floor when I wake up. So unless I move myself into the tub, you're fine no matter what. I'd either let you out or I fall asleep and spread out over the floor and you get out that way. Besides, that would... Never mind. This is not why you're here. But I still want that hug. Give it. You're still as warm as ever. Well, now that I got my hug, and only lightly got you wet, I'm pretty sure you want to know about those things I wanted to give you. Well, what I want to give you is something you may have offhandedly mentioned. And you and I have also wanted to explore a few more things in our little play sessions. I'm actually a bit proud of you on that front. You've gotten rather relaxed about being inside my body, given how many times it's happened. And I'm thankful we've not had to use the emergency stop signal in any of our sessions. Oh, I'm getting off topic again. So, I want to explore what you mentioned earlier. And the presents are here to help us make that happen. Oh, don't tell me you don't remember what you said, my good boy. Surely we need to test just how much of a good boy you can be. So, are you ready for your present? If you are, I need to ask you something. Do you trust me? Do you trust me as your mistress? Thank you for giving me such trust. It doesn't go unnoticed. Now then, I need you to turn around, and then I'll give you the present. 
you'll probably figure out what it is pretty quickly. Yes, it's what you think it is, but let's just get in front of a mirror before we talk about it. Come into the bathroom. So, what do you think? Do you like how it looks? <laughs> and a leash to go with it. I didn't know what color you'd prefer, so I picked out a few. What brought all this on? Well, I was listening to some of your thinking out loud moments and you alluded to something. So I took a risk. There was a bit about being called a good boy. So I thought, what can you name that gets called that more than anything? Mm-hmm, a doggy. So would you like to be my cute puppy for a while? We get to try something new, and I have a good excuse to shower you with good boys that you wanted. But I never really got an answer to my question. I think you look cute in your collar, but do you like it? I don't want to push my idea onto you if you aren't interested. You want to see if you like it after a session? That's fair. So we'll give it a try and see if it's something we want to do again, or we can scrap it. If you like it, we can see about getting you a color you prefer. Okay, so I'm going to have you on your hands and knees. I'll be tugging on your leash if you want to move around. Well, I'm not going to have you talk because you are a doggy after all. You better speak up if I ever yank too hard. Mistress will not be happy if I accidentally hurt you and you don't immediately tell me. We'll go as long as you're willing and after care is normal afterwards. Remember as before, this is playful acting. If anything comes across as degrading, I'm sorry, and please do stop me. All that sound good to you? Bark? No, no, I'm not going to have you do something like that. We don't even know if this is something we'll like long term. You aren't planning to randomly bark to mess with me, are you? You sure? You aren't thinking of doing something the mistress doesn't want you to? Good boy. We don't want you to have a bad time by annoying your mistress before we even start. So I'm going to tug on your leash now. Tell me if it's too hard. On one, two, three. How was that? Yeah, figured as much. But it didn't hurt, and that's what's important. Well, it's probably harmless. I don't want to find out. Now then. On your hands and knees, Rumi. I know you're a good boy often, but let's see if you can be the bestest boy today. So can you get down, boy? No, no. All the way. Not just your knees. There you go. Good boy. Head pets for the puppy. I love my new puppy. Hopefully he's good and well-trained like they said you were when I got you. No. Shh. Puppies don't talk. Shh. Bad. Good boys don't speak. Shh. Better. Good boys stay on their hands and knees, crawling around beside me so I can keep them in petting range. Come along. <laughs> I already think I need to start looking into a big dog bed, like a massive one. Keep you next to my desk and just constantly rub your head as I do work. What other way could I spoil my brand new puppy? And how am I going to take you on a walk? Things to think about for later. Come on, let's move into the living room. Alright, boy. Sit. No, not on the couch. Right here, in front of me. Good boy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How dare you just suddenly bark. I was not ready for that. <clears throat> oh, idea. I'll be back. Now boy, stay. Stay. Good boy.
so I was told my good boy was trained. Let's see what you can do then. Let's see if you're food motivated. So, I know you can sit and stay. What about shake? Can you shake my hand, puppy? Good boy! Now, I was told that my super special doggy can actually have chocolate. So here, a treat for the good boy. There are plenty to earn, too. Hmm, can my good boy roll over? Come on, roll over. There we go. Good boy! Now, get on your back for belly rubs. <laughs> oh, you're the bestest boy. You know that? You better know that. As such, another treat for my lovely puppy. Hmm, well, I should take you on a walk now. But I'll have to do silly little laps around the apartment, given we can't go outside. Come on then. Walk with me, puppy. Good boy. After this walk, I'll have to bathe my puppy. <laughs> puppy, are you okay? You stopped walking with me suddenly. No, hush. Doggies don't speak. Bad. Shh. Down, boy. Down. There you go. I'll forgive you this time, my little puppy. I'll just treat that as you getting excited. But I expect my good boy to behave. Now, let's continue our walk for a bit. Oh, good boy. You're doing such a good job. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. All right. Stop. Sit, boy. Checking in. Are your knees doing okay? The tiles can't be that comfortable. Okay. Come on, puppy. Back to the living room. Up. Up, puppy. I'm letting you on the couch. Good boy. Now lay down. Lay down. You can put your head in my lap if you want, puppy. I've solidified myself enough so you won't sink in. You lay there and let me pet you for a little bit. did a great job today. One little outburst, but outside of that, you're as behaved as a good boy should be. I'm proud of you today. We've gone for a good while, so my little puppy can talk again. Our play scene is over. I had fun. And I hope you did too. Or at least it was a decent stress relief. You were starting to look tired. Thusly, why my puppy is getting their rest now. Walking on your hands and knees for a while couldn't have been all that good for you. Do you want me to stop petting you, or... Was that embarrassment I just heard? More petting from my little puppy, then? Yes, you aren't sinking into my leg. Slimes can adjust our bodies on the fly. I thought I went over this with you. Just like our digestive process, if we couldn't do this, living as I do now would be incredibly hard. We can't really keep bigger meals inside of our bodies if we can't turn part of ourselves solid. Granted, it's normally just the outer membrane solidifying, but we can go farther if we have to. But now, I have a question. Why did you suddenly bring that up, little puppy? Are you not content with your owner's squishy lap? Well, what did you mean by it? Because you seem to be saying I'm not soft enough 
or something. Or, or perhaps it's something else. But am I reading too much into it? Is my cute puppy showing they have a preference for something a bit more personal when it comes to aftercare? Something more encompassing than just head pats and scratches? Surely my attention is what you want right now. Or do you want my complete attention? I'm inferring you maybe don't want to be a cute little puppy right now, but perhaps you might want to be... You're wanting to be a little snack again. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, you aren't going anywhere. I'm still holding your leash. You aren't going to try and break my gift to you, are you? You're staying right here by the couch. Actually, this leash gives me an idea for you, little snack. Now, now, don't struggle against your fate, Rumi. I'll just open up my rain jacket here and push the leash through my belly. Then grab it from behind my back. Hmm, you seem to be in quite the predicament, Rumi. What happens if I continue to pull the leash through my body? Oh no, you're getting closer to my belly. Closer and closer as I pull this lovely leash until... You're looking very nervous. Why ever would you be? Come on, you know you can get closer. Oh, what's the matter? Why are you wiggling so much? Just let my body pull you inside itself again. Then you can get cozy inside your mistress again. Oh yeah, the pet scene is over. This is just me teasing you a little more. Now stop making so much of a fuss. You're inside me quite often. No, I will not change my phrasing. Come on, Rumi, settle down and just let me pull you inside. You're tossing my slime all over the floor and just making a mess. Guess I'll just have to keep pulling on the leash. Just pull it upwards until I have most of you inside. One day you'll just accept this and not struggle. Come on, hurry up and go up inside my midsection again. Whoa, watch your knees. You nearly hit the couch. My fault? You're the one wiggling about, not me. Come on. Ah, there we go. All curled up inside my body again. Right where you belong, my little snack. It was totally necessary. You are the one that implied my laugh wasn't good enough to rest on. So, I moved you to the only better place that I could think of. And it's too late to argue now, my little snack. This is obviously the best use for you anyway. I wonder why I even let you out sometimes. I should just go about my days with you wobbling around inside me. Sure, I'll get some odd looks, but I find this comfy. I'm nice and full, and you get to basically relax in a pool, even if it's small. Plus, I don't want any pressure on your knees. You say you're okay, but I'm expecting some small bruises to start to show. Now to just stretch out and... So what if I don't have muscles to stretch? I'm still going to lean back here, cross my legs, and let you stew in there for a while. If you're getting relaxation time, I'll be getting some myself. Oh, don't be a grumpy stomach ache. You totally did this to yourself. I totally wasn't at all looking for an excuse to pull you inside me again. Shut up. I'm not clingy. Okay, fine. This is probably as clingy as someone could get. Stop asking to be let out. You are my little snack, and snacks get eaten. That's just simple logic. And now I get to try something new with you as far as you being inside me. I'm going to try and shift my slime around you and try and massage those legs of yours and everywhere else too. No, I've never done this before. It's kind of like the idea behind hot tubs though, right? 
a persistent flow of water around the body? Granted, I'm cold slime and not hot water, but surely it's similar enough, right? Take those complaints up with HR. Not to be confused with slime resources. Not that we have either of those, or that the second one exists at all. But food shouldn't be complaining. You said you like it inside me before anyway. You refused to elaborate why, which I'm still a bit sour about. You'll have to tell me at some point. I'll squeeze it out of you if I have to. What do you mean those are empty threats? Fine, I'll get my answer eventually. Though, I'm not sure if I should massage you in there now or not. Why should I spoil someone that didn't give me what I want? Yes, I do like you being inside my body. What of it? Now hang on, Rumi. I see what you're doing here. Wouldn't massage make me want to stay in you longer? You're trying to get in my good graces by threatening me with a good time. And I hate that it's going to work. So, fine. I'll give you this attempted massage this time. Just start sloshing my slime around your everything. You know, the penalty for falling asleep in there. Yeah, I have no idea if this is working. Well, if not, maybe I'll lull you to sleep and I can keep you longer than usual. You were in there for a few hours last week. Slept like a baby. And you got warmer again. And I bet you aren't going to tell me why about that either. The mistress will get her answers one way or another. Well, I think it's time I just leave you in there for a while. See if this massage thing does anything at all. Please yell if your knees start swelling up or something. Alright, time to let my delicious morsel stew again. And no amount of complaining will get you out sooner. You didn't give me what I wanted. Why should I give you what you wanted? I really do need to learn to stop talking to my food. It makes things weird. Settle in, my adorable pet. No struggling now. nice. This was a good day. And now I'll see if it gets better.